Next piece of equipment I'm making is my hand over hand pulling sled. Now this sled is only used when you're sitting on your butt and you're pulling with your arms like a rowing machine <laughs> and uh, and you just pull the weights. Now I'm making another sled that's uh, go ahead pull me bitch sled. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a lot heavier and it's for when you're walking and pulling. So this is for sitting and pulling this sled and the next sled is going to be for the walking and pulling. Okay, so basically what we're doing on this one is we're coming down that magic 4 inches and then we're going a magical 11 inches. Okay, and then we're putting our bars across and then after we'll put pegs if we need to to load more weight on. All right. Okay, so there's the runs. Now see that's going to be on the ground like that. And now we got to put bars across here so that we can load up the thing and it should be cool. Alright, so right here, that's your first loading point, right? So you want to come straight up here and that's where you want to put your first load uh, right there. And then a few inches down, it depends how many loads you want to put, but uh, I would put one at the back, one at the front, and then two in the center. Then that way, uh, you can load it in whatever section you want. You make it really heavy at the back, or really heavy in the front. So, basically, make sure though, your first load, that's the important one, is right at the tip of where it would dig into the ground. Alright? So that's what we're going to do. So it's from the peak. Every foot, I put a load point. Okay? Except for the back, it's going to be about 10 inches by the time it's done. But um, I put a load point every foot. Okay? So when the pillars are in here, okay, you got to remember they're going to be 18 inches apart or 20. It depends what I decide. But uh, anyway, they're going to be 20 inches apart. And then well, have pegs in there on each end so that you can add weight pleats on top. So, alright. So, next part is there's your cutout grooves, which is the same width of the boards you're using. Mine, in my case, I'm using 2x4s. So, now I'm going to cut it down so that the 2x4 will be flush. See? And then this will sit on there and it go across. So, go over 2 inches around. Alright. So the next step is take the jigsaw and cut these out, all eight of them, out of the board there, and uh, we'll use that for the runners for the 2x4. Okay. For today, those parts is made. Jigsaw kind of took a little piss on me, but oh well. It's finished, it'll look alright. Okay.